I'm 30 years old, I'm married, I'm expecting a kid in a little shy of three weeks. My character name is Verge. It's an undead warlock. He has like sort of a demonic powers. She's a called Elisa and is a human female mage. She can do frost spells, fire spells, or arcane spells, and the other kind of ability that makes her unique is that she can turn enemies into sheep. Formson is a level 70 Forsaken Warlock, uh, which means that he spends a great deal of his time summoning demons. He also does uh, insane amounts of damage with Shadow Wolves. Tarn is a Tauren Druid which means he can turn into all kinds of birds and beasts, so if he needs to beat up on a large enemy for a long time, then he'll turn into a bear, because, you know, a bear can take an awful lot of punishment before it'll drop. I don't change uh, my personality when I'm playing her. I think it's a lot like me in a way. I mean, obviously I can't um, uh, teleport people places and that kind of thing, but, um, you know, I think she's pretty much like me. Surprisingly, she's not evil. She's just like, um, she likes to play with people. But that happens to sometimes kill people. He's a, he's a stoic, violent man-child who roams the plains of Azeroth looking for things to fight and interesting things to gather so that he can surprise people with them later. If you look at things like YouTube and Facebook, they're about people communicating and uh, telling stories, creating stories, and that's what you do in World of Warcraft. You, you get together, you talk, and your band of um, warriors get together and they go and fight a boss and you know complete quests and stuff like that. So there are parallels. In real life, you're very unlikely to have to confront somebody who is a spiritualist hoaxer, or you're very unlikely to have to deal with an undead invasion. What will happen if Dublin is invaded by zombies? I may have, on a bad day, made a dwarf very miserable. I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna kill the person or not. If the person gives me the smile back, if they smile me back, then I kill them. <laughs> Don't smile at me. The ones that come in for the most criticism would be the hardcore raiders, the people for whom the game is all about beating that final boss in that final dungeon. If you kill a boss for the first time, 24 other people, that's the kind of, the main reason I play is that buzz you get. It's just, you hear big shouts and, because we're all on um, headsets, we can all communicate with each other. You know, in real life, you can work as hard as you want, but so you're not always going to get the recognition or the reward that you actually deserve. It's not just escapism, it can be something that, you know, crosses over with your real life. An alternative world, but it, it's, it mirrors so much of our reality. They can be seen as being more escapist, but really I don't think that they are any more so than any other obsession that anybody could have.